happy Saturday. <laughs> Guess who woke up at 10 a.m. today? Yours truly. I don't understand how people that wake up late get anything done. It is 3 p.m. and I've done nothing today except walk the dog, have some lunch, chat on the phone with my mum. Today's the day, guys. Oh, I'm only gonna get to drink out of these for a few days, but it's worth it. Firstly, I'm gonna take this off because I'm kind of warm now. It is actually a stunning day. First things first, I'm gonna sort the sofa out. Oh my God, that's actually low-key really embarrassing. Don't ask me what that is, I don't know. <laughs> I've washed the sofa covers. I've literally had this sofa for years and I think the reason I've not changed and got a new one is the ones that I like, they are really expensive, but also you can't remove the covers. And when you have a dog, or a man living in your house, or me for that matter, a chronic tea spiller. Not having this is just, it will be your downfall. No, I can't actually deal with the color of those. Like that is gross. Let's not even talk about that. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. ages ago months ago and i did film it but again we'll talk about that another time i have loads of vlogs that i filmed that i never posted i went into h&m in town and i was just having a little wander through and i saw this little back bit that i'd never seen before the new h&m home inside i bought some new bits for the sofa i know i don't like gray but this i don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera it has this like blue hue to it and for some reason i'm just obsessed with that kind of color at the moment i don't even know what type of material this is but it is so soft and cozy but what i loved about this throw the most is that it's got two tones so one side is darker than the other and i feel like it was oh yes it's still at the price it was only 19.99 it's pretty large as well so i just love it i've wanted to add a bit more color into the flat for a while because i feel like it's very bland i just thought this would be an easy way to kind of do that i haven't used it yet so i'm going to take the tag off right now to be honest i don't think there's much homeware left because i have already unboxed like the kitchenware but i also because it was so nice and affordable and beautiful and lovely i also got the same throw in this nude and then like tan color i guess so pretty i think this one i'll probably keep for the bedroom we'll see i'm not sure yet because it could be really nice up here as well but i just feel like i want more color up here i also got these like burnt orange velvet cushions i just thought that with that like blue gray looks really nice together they're still quite earthy colors like they're still neutral for color if that makes sense i just thought they'd look really nice together and add like a nice natural tone of color and also how perfect is this for October and Halloween season? And then yeah, the only other thing, because I've already unboxed the rest of it, this reed diffuser, which I love because it looks like an apothecary bottle vibe, which again is quite cool for spooky season. And the reeds are black. All right, let's do this. What are we thinking guys? I love it. I kind of want to get another one of this color. The reason I put it over the whole sofa is obviously the dog just gets it really dirty. So it's just like a little preventative. Let me know what you think. I know it's very basic, but I think it makes such a difference. I've got another pillow that is coming, I think tomorrow. So for now, I'm gonna put some of the like spooky bits out. I'm literally matching the sofa right now, which is hilarious. This was so like totally unplanned as well. I didn't even, it didn't even register in my mind. Seeing as this guy's already in the kitchen, we can get some of the kitchen bits out. I'm gonna move this plant out of the way. Oh, and the honey. We've already got the right cookbooks in here because they haven't moved since last year. <laughs> the absolute necessities. Over. This is coming out of the kitchen. Yeah. For the dining table, I'm thinking keep it nice and simple. I'm thinking take the Buddha out. This was my grandparents switched that out for the little pumpkin just to add a little something something there. I think that's kind of cute actually. I think I'm gonna place this little guy right here as well. <laughs> Let's 
getting chilly. I also forgot I got these for Bonson. How hilarious. I thought this could be like a cute little decoration until I give it to him. I'm gonna give him one at a time because he will literally destroy each of these within like 30 seconds. They're all from Pets at Home. I think it would be really cute just here. I know that as soon as Bronson notices that that's there, it's over. Well, he found it. <laughs> Look what I did. I somehow managed to smash the lid of the pumpkin candle. I don't even know how that happened. Ugh. It has been a long evening, but a productive one. I've realized it's been hours since I last seen you, but I'm in bed now. I literally just carried on faffing around with the house, did a bit of cleaning, did some tidying, did some washing, just all the kind of chores that an adult has to do. I went on a quick night trip to Sainsbury's as well. I just picked up some essentials. I got some orange juice, milk for like the last few days that I'm gonna be here. Orange juice, I said that already. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> Um, and then I got some supplements. Anyway, it's not even interesting, but yeah, I just got some like little essential things that I needed to get before going away. And I needed that milk because I've got to have my matcha in the morning. The self-control that I had to exercise to not pick up every Halloween and Christmas decoration in there. They had so many cute things, but especially the Halloween stuff, I had to keep reminding myself, there's no point, I'm not gonna be here. Just put it down. It's getting to the point where I'm delirious now. It's almost midnight. I've been up since six and I'm on my period, so I'm a tired girl, okay? So it's back to this tonight. This book's okay. I still don't really know what's going on. I hope that it concludes well. In one of the comments in my last vlog, it was about the Akatar series and somebody said that they listened to it all on audiobook. And I'm so jealous because my mind will not let me enjoy an audiobook. Like I can't process what they're saying unless I'm reading it. It just doesn't sound like a real conversation to me. I don't know how to explain it. It's just it doesn't, my brain can't compute it, it doesn't work for me. And I was just wondering, does anyone else, like this book for example, the narrator is Matthew McConaughey, 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name, that's so embarrassing. Matthew McConaughey? Matthew McConaughey. You know who I'm talking about. In like a Southern American accent. This is set in the middle of the deep South of America. So I guess that's why, but like, yeah, for some reason I can't, I can't even process this book unless I'm reading it in that accent. And then obviously all the characters have their own accent as well, but the narrator is that specific voice. So like if I was to have an audiobook of this, if the accents weren't correct in my mind, I wouldn't be able to understand what I'm listening to. Oh my god, am I crazy? Have I lost the plot? Please tell me that you guys understand what I'm saying. But yeah, it's difficult to read in the sense of like, if you think about negative connotations of Deep South and being a person of colour, you'll be able to understand like some of the language can be a bit difficult to read and a little bit offensive. I didn't realise this by the way when I picked up the book. I'm just trying to figure out what year this was written in. This was published in 1940. So if you think about that era, I'm sure you can understand how some of the language is just a bit it. it's a bit much like it's hard for me to digest at times and I'm still trying to figure out where we're going with this but I feel like it's all going to kind of come together closer to the end yeah I'd say I'm pretty much halfway through something crazy has just happened so it is starting to get a little interesting now anyway I'm going to stop rambling stop yapping away I need to get up and do more things tomorrow I need to pack I didn't pack anything today tomorrow is Sunday tomorrow I'm going to pack and then I only have Monday left and there's still so much to do and so little time <laughs> okay i will see you guys tomorrow i hope you are having a wonderful weekend i love you good night <laughs> morning I don't know if any of you guys are the same as me. This is something that really stresses me out. I was not going to do this on camera, but we need the content. But I also thought it will probably, probably make me focus a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Like do it more efficiently. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like I've still got stuff in here from when I went to London in like July. <laughs> That's not good, is it? Okay, this definitely looked way better in my head, but I think I hate it. I'm thinking maybe I just need to change the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you sausage? These? Oh, I don't know. Maybe without this. No. 
I don't know, I feel like this skirt would just be cute with like a big baggy t-shirt, to be honest. Be right back, because this is not working. All I know is I'm going to want to be warm enough on this trip, in the evenings at least. And I also know that I'm going to want to be comfortable, but I also want to look cute, you know? Doberman tea to like throw it off. I don't know. Probably not these shoes now. That's kind of cute. It's a bit basic though, isn't it? Just a plain grey tee. I feel like that could be quite cool. I don't know whether to bring boots with me or not. I haven't worn this yet. I got this off ASOS. That could work, but I need to change the shoes. I've got this really cute bag, which is also, also weekday. Wait, I kind of love this. I think I prefer the other top. This is so comfy as well. I think I figured out an outfit already, so that's cool. So I think I might have misjudged this, kind of, sort of. The first place we're going is gonna be like mid twenties in the daytime. And then the second place, it's gonna cool down a little bit. I think it'll be like around the low twenties, 1918, which is still fairly warm. Like I need to figure out, figure out what I'm doing, what? I love this dress, so simple, but it's just so, pretty. I'm thinking maybe I should bring a white shirt because it's just quite versatile to be able to throw over stuff. Quite like that over this dress though. Perfect. Oh okay, yeah, I like this. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring a jacket because I'm gonna need one for the airport anyway. I always get cold on planes and in airports and traveling. I just like to be comfy. And I was thinking this one from Sisters and Seekers, just because it's plain black, versatile, it's got that vintage kind of vibe and it's just comfortable and like oversized. I think it will go with everything. And it is quite warm as well, which is nice. Those cooler evenings, say we're going for like dinner or something. I'm definitely gonna bring my Birkenstocks as well. So I wear them all the time and they're so comfortable. I think this would be cute over it as well adorable okay we've got some outfits guys that's good i'm gonna take a break because i'm starving <sighs> i've become so unfit this year guys it's not even funny <laughs> i think i'll bring this from aritzia as well it's just a really nice lightweight jacket and it's a bit smarter so appropriate for today look at the tag i love it obviously i've got to make use of my delicious pesto before i leave because nobody else is going to eat this okay i want it all <laughs> I thought I was gonna make a, what are they called? I can never remember the name when I need to remember the name. Caprese, a caprese salad. However, it's not sunny today. It's not really the vibe. So I was thinking instead to make a tomato, mozzarella, fresh pesto, panini kind of vibe, like a toasty. And I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait. It's gonna be great. I was gonna use butter, but I think I'm gonna do olive oil because it all tastes more authentic to the dish, right? I've not had one of these for a long time. Did you hear that crunch? This is unbelievable. I will absolutely be having a second one. Anyway, I'm watching Love Rats and the tea is about to be spilt, so I'm gonna get back to this. Joe's son and ex-husband Mark are present too. Come on, see yourself out of this. No, I'm not gonna watch Ew. Why do people like that always play the victim? They're always the same. Like they always have to play victim and go, oh boo-hoo, yeah, I know it's like I, I don't want to be like this, so. Come on, mate, you knew what you was doing. Laura and Arnie actually got a bit upset for him because I get... It's pointless, this is what they do. They make you feel guilty. They he, straight up gaslighting right now. Also, you're never gonna get closure. He's a narcissist. He's never gonna feel bad about it, really and truly. Like he doesn't, he's not going to. He's not gonna stop. Catch him out, embarrass him. You gotta move on. I get way too invested. I didn't feel like I wanted to smash his face in right he was just too pathetic. <laughs> Made myself an obligatory tea. I'm gonna get downstairs and just finish up packing. I think I've got enough, so I'm just gonna throw it all in my suitcase and then just add in like essentials like jewelry. I need to bring my passport, obviously. Also guys, if you're not using packing squares, what are you doing? <laughs> Guys, I'm sad. In case you didn't know, this little guy right here is my world. Joshua's coming to get him in like the next 10, 15 minutes. He probably won't miss me at all, but I I have separation anxiety from my dog. I love him so much. So I'm gonna just spend like the next 10 minutes cuddling him. <laughs> Friend Jessica has retired for the evening and I think I'm going to as well. I've got my hot water bottle. I've got a bowl of olive oil, dish soap and hot water and I'm gonna remove my nails. Save the night. 
absolutely understood that. I'm pissed. There's a vase in here. And I think it's broken. Now I've got to take some returns back. When I tell you I've been running around like a madman, as you guys saw earlier, I picked up some deliveries from an M&S, just some homeware, and I thought I'd share it with you before I go. The first thing that I'm really freaking upset about, they only packaged it in this, like no bubble wrap. As soon as I put it in my car, I could hear clinking. So it's this vase. How stunning is this? I don't even think it looks as good on camera, but it is so beautiful. And I am obsessed with blue at the moment. It just makes me happy. It is so satisfying. Like it does something to my chest. And I just thought the texture of this was super stunning. They also do it in like a creamy, corally white kind of color. It kind of looks like shells. Unfortunately, as you guys can probably see here, it's broken. There was also a hole in the box. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to return this. But I'll probably order another one before I go because I can't not have this, it's so beautiful. And they also have a little candle holder. I think I'm gonna order that as well and have that for the bathroom. I literally just can't stop with the homeware at the moment. To be fair, this I ordered a little while ago. I just thought it was really cute, but also quite understated. It's the cutest thing ever. So I'm gonna plop that on the sofa in a bit. I'm really glad it came with the actual like cushion padding inside. Okay, this one I'm really excited for. It's really not that exciting, but for me it is. This one was a bit of a splurge and it literally is only a blanket, but oh my God, it is like a ribbed faux fur blanket. They had like the cheaper looking ones, but this is a lot more plush and full and the colors like this really nice, like off white, kind of got tints of gray and cream in it. It's so soft and I just know it's gonna be so warm. Okay, it was 79 pounds. But it's gonna be cold this winter. I just know it's gonna be like a really nice addition. You know when you just want to snuggle up and it is chilly? This. Ultra warm. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Oh, the colour again is just so pretty. Why was the other one not wrapped like this? On the app, it had a photo of just like a few flowers in it and it just looked so clean and nice and kind of like that Japanese kind of vibe. Yeah, I'll be buying myself some flowers when I get that. I'm sorry. It's just so silly. This whole huge box, just for these, this is supposed to be like purple eucalyptus. I don't even know if that's a real thing, but I like the way it looks. And I think in the image of this vase, they had this in there. One more thing from m and I don't remember ordering two. Oh, also my nails came off. They are absolutely battered. I don't know what happened this time. I think maybe I put a bit too much glue on. I'm not even gonna be able to have any Halloween nails, guys. <laughs> this feels like the biggest hug ever. <gasps> I think the spare one of these was an accident. So if anybody wants these, let me know. She's my guest. <laughs> 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 